What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. I'm back in here with another video. And it's like this, y'all. Y'all have been doing this for the past month and such and so. Basically, forever since. But we're back again with Nick Natoli. And this is his most recent one called Place For Us Official Music Video. Now look, y'all. It's like this, y'all. Any... I be trying my best try to do different music reactions or so, whether it's the ones mainstream or the lesser known ones, or even just like upcoming ones or so. But it's like this, y'all. Y'all have an addiction to this guy or so, cause every single time when I put up a reaction, no matter which one it is, Nine times out of ten, I'm gonna see the ones with Nick Natoli in it. Like, God damn. Y'all can't let me react. Y'all can't just like, can't, y'all can't just let me react to something. Or at least suggest let, reacting to something else. I know y'all do most of the time, but it's mostly Nick Natoli, Nick Natoli, Nick Natoli, Nick Natoli. I've said this before. And I'ma say it again. It's not that I don't think he's all right, cause he is good. He does got bars. Don't get it twisted. But it's like this, y'all. Y'all, I swear. Even when I'm react, even when I have videos for reacting to him, right? Y'all making me want to react to some of his songs that one, I already reacted, or two. Y'all make me want to react to some of his songs that are like a year old, two years old, hell, even five years old and such. Like, god damn. <laughs> and it's like this, I see one comment or so saying that this, that is fake, that is, is spam or something, or like if it's fake, fake channel or whatever, so I don't know, like. Anytime when I'm reacting to him, there's always some type of weird stuff going on. But regardless, whatever happens, it happens. So, ow, sorry, I hit my hand on the damn table. But like I said, whatever happens, it happens. So, we better check this music video out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so weird to see him without his traditional rainbow hair cut and such. Yeah, I know we're all thinking about the same things. We're probably not going to the same place. I know we're not supposed to talk about it. But I can't help but wonder if, wonder if, yeah, if heaven and earth's got a place for us. I wonder if God made a space for us I wonder where we're really going after this If heaven and earth's got a place for us And to be honest, you see what I'm talking about, right? I don't say there's nothing wrong with wanting me to react to him and such cause, But I want, like I said, I wanted to do some other reactions and such but don't but that doesn't mean that he doesn't got bars that he doesn't have something that makes you think and right there it's a thinker right there like and it's me as a christian right now don't get me wrong i i believe in god straight up no doubt about it but let's be honest sometimes you want to think to yourself hey, are we really gonna go to heaven or so like technically yeah they say we do go to heaven but do we really because we didn't we don't know like Straight up with me, be honest with yourself, even if you're a Christian and such, do you really actually think? I'm not trying to say it in a negative way or anything like that before anybody goes into their feelings and such, but think honest with yourself. But when you already pass away, right, How do you really think, like, what you gonna think? Do you really go up there? Do you go down here? Or is it in between? I don't know. I would be lying if I said I never thought about dying. If I said I never questioned the science. I know there's answers that they're not providing. They say if I go, I go, but my soul is surviving. Where does it go? Like, where's it residing? People I love, are we reuniting? People I hate, are they uninvited? This is confusing, mm. but it's enticing. Rivers of Egypt, there's more than denial. Maybe the truth. Mm, rivers in Egypt, there's more than denial. Denial river. 
Mm. See, I told y'all, he got bars straight up. Rivers in Egypt, they come in, they help in denial and such. Denial River. Divided, this is confusing. But it's enticing. Rivers of Egypt, there's more than denial. Maybe mm. the truth is so bad that they hide it. Cover it up with a cross and a Bible. I just That's a real thinker right there. Like, hold up, let me hear that again. The denial, maybe the truth is so bad that they hide it, cover it up with a cross and a bite. Mm. Cover it up with a cross and a Bible, hiding the truth and so on. I'm telling you, he do. You do be having songs that make you think. There's more than denial. Maybe the truth is so bad that they hide it. Cover it up with a cross and a Bible. I just keep thinking, where the fuck do I go? Do we rise up or do we stay idle? When is the judgment? Who's at the trial? Do we meet Jesus and all his disciples? Is there a pathway or just a spiral? Is there a test like what's on the final? Do we keep names or get a new title? Do we get wings like Clarence or Michael? What about some of us who suicide? Are we rejected upon arrival? Do we get chances? Is there a cycle? Is there a phone? But who would we die? Or is this forever? Are we a lifer? Is it just heaven? There's nothing that's higher. Is there a line? Like where do we sign? And, and I'm just asking as an outsider. I, I told hey, these are like questions anybody could think on the low, for real. Like like what he's saying about do we really go heaven or do we stay? Do like for the people who do like suicidal and such, do they get denial into heaven or whatnot? Like like I said, we just don't know. Like he said, the covering up the truth with a cross and a Bible. I'm never gonna wanna. I'm never not gonna. Dis, I'm never gonna disrespect the Bible. I'm not. I'm just trying to. I'm just wanna question it and such. Like, I'm just saying, me personally. I don't know what y'all think and such, but I'm just saying for my personal self. I know we're all thinking about the same things. We're probably not going to the same place. I know we're not supposed to talk about it. But I can't help but wonder if, wonder if, if heaven and earth's got a place for us. I wonder if God made a space for us. I wonder where we're really going after this If heaven and earth's got a place for us and I'm just talking, you could just listen Trying to separate that from the fiction Is there a door charge? What's the admission? Not trying to piss off all of the Christians Heaven and hell, they seem like divisions Same corporations, who's the official? What did they do to get their positions? Who makes the calls? Like, who makes decisions? Had to be more than just study religions Wonder if angels still get the commission Wonder if all of my sins are forgiven Wonder if Jesus still gets recognition What is... God damn Is it... Nah, they, first of all, damn. <laughs> nah, but let me go with this. Nah, this ain't even better. Alright, thank you. But, think about it though. I wonder if some of y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comments about all, all these things he's asking and such. Just let me know, because I have my beliefs and so and so and so. But I wanna let you I wanna see what y'all makes the calls, like who makes decisions? Had to be more than just study religions. Wonder if angels still get the commission. Wonder if all of my sins are forgiven. Wonder if Jesus still gets recognition. What is the scene? I'm trying to envision. Where are the ladies? What about the witches? Do you have Satan up for a visit? Or do you keep him down at a distance? What's our new purpose? What is the mission? Is there a jail? Who's working the prisons? Is there a training for the transition? They say the devil's one hell of a fucking musician. So grab the guitars and let's have competition. The red birds, the blue, cause clearly we gripping. Still on some race still got divisions. Thought we'd know better, but I must be tripping. I got some questions that turn to suspicion. And I'm just scared that I'll pull off the greatest trick ever and I disappear and act like I'm a fucking magician. This story sounds bogus as fuck. Like, who are you kidding? I think we just wave goodbye like good riddance. I think that nobody really gonna miss me. And I'm just asking, hope God can forgive me. I know. Hey. At the end of the day, look, I don't care what anybody say. At the end of the day, y'all may think that this man is weird and all and such, but think about it. What rapper you know, what favorite rapper you know and such, talking stuff like this, questioning reality and such. They make, it's like this, you get your 
rappers that always talk about where they grew up or or have bars and such like the like Eminem and so and so and so right but in but be honest with yourself rap rapper you know no matter what genre or so not even just rapper just musician in general what musician you know talks about reality and such that questions reality that everything is going around us like dip like in a way this is like about Christianity about the truth and such and how it covers up in with a cross and a Bible and such what rapper you know does that suspicion and I'm just scared that I'll pull up know. the greatest trick ever and I disappear and act like I'm a fucking magician this story sounds bogus as fuck like who are you kidding I think we just waved goodbye like good riddance I think that nobody really gonna miss me and I'm just asking hope God can forgive me I know we're all thinking about the same things we're probably not going to the same place I know we're... I just want to say this God God damn not... bro how the hell did you find her? I'm just saying. I'm going to the same place. Damn, she did. I know we're not supposed to talk about it. But I can't help but wonder if, wonder if, yeah. If heaven and earth's got a place for us. I wonder if God made a space for us. I wonder where we're really going after this. If heaven and earth's got a place for us Shout out to Nick Natoli for another one. Because it's like this, y'all. I've told y'all before. Well, basically, I've been telling you this entire video. When it comes to him, he always has bars. And always have music that questions how you are. Now, like him. So, at the end of the day, what more y'all can say than just, wow right but at the end of the day he's always gonna have the bangers for real but let me know what you think down in the comments below it's been your boy humble ziggy signing out stay positive and keep the vibes up there you go